everyone, welcome back to Pandemic Cooking. I am in Lillian Osborne High School in Edmonton, Alberta. My name is Adele and I'm with my colleague and my friend and my camera woman, Sarah. She's behind me, She'll, she is going to sass me the whole time. I just feel it. Um, just feel it's it. the mood today. From the mood today. Um, and I'm ready for it. The first, oh, this is what we're making. <laughs> Already I'm failing. This is what we're making. So the gnocchi, the risotto, the fettuccine alfredo, the so homemade good. bread. So good. I cannot eat like that. Listen, I come in every day and I'm like, I'm not gonna eat it. I'm trying to be healthy. I'm gonna share it with the keto. staff. I'm gonna share. And then that, I'm thinking about the gnocchi coming out of the oven all bubbly and I'm like, I'm gonna eat half the pan. And so today, <laughs> We are going to make something a little bit lighter, okay? So today we're going to make um, lettuce wraps. We're gonna make chicken lettuce wraps. So we're gonna take um, a little bit of a healthier spin on them because I'm not going to be adding a noodle, but I'll talk about how you could do that if you wanted to. So if you're following like, you know, maybe a low carb diet, maybe you need to get some nutrients into you. This is full of vegetables, it's full of really lean protein and lots of great flavors. And we're going to wrap them in iceberg lettuce. I'm gonna show you a little trick that my husband taught me to peel the iceberg lettuce. I'm super hungry. So I did all the meats on class first. I've got my vegetables julienned. I've got Napa cabbage. I've got just a yellow onion, a couple carrots, some red peppers and some mushrooms. The reason why I have them in two different bowls is they need different cooking time. So these vegetables, I'm gonna cook a little bit longer. Once they've kind of softened up a bit, I'm gonna add my softer vegetables that I don't want um, to overcook and I don't want to be soggy. So I'm gonna add, let me just go ahead and open this. Yeah. Have mercy. Okay, I'm gonna add a little glug of sesame oil to my pan here. Just a couple of turns around the pan. And the reason I'm gonna use sesame oil today is because it has a really beautiful Asian flavor, Asian style to it um, that I love when I'm making a stir fry, this is the oil that I use. You can already smell it in the pan. My stomach is growling, it smells so good. I'm just gonna wish it around, all right? Like it smells, it smells delicious. So um, and I'm just gonna let the pan heat up for a second before I add my chicken. Once again, I thought I was prepared. Okay, I'm glad. I have a utensil, I'm like I have no utensil. Here we go. So the other things that I'm prepping is I've got my garlic mince that's gonna go in with the chicken and I'm going to be adding this to the um, chicken sauce. I'm gonna cook it, take it off the heat, and then I'm gonna show you how to create- I that was ginger. No, I have my ginger here. I'm gonna do oh. it in a minute. I'm gonna do it in a minute. It's not what I got right, ready. Right. And I couldn't find my other microplaner. This is the other thing. That's Everything. a nice microplaner. Is it cute? I like it, it looks like a flower. It's pretty, isn't it? Is it good? I don't know, I haven't used it before. Okay, I feel like that's hot enough. I'm gonna add all of my chicken at what? Should've put the apron on. Um, <laughs> um, look, I covered it in sesame oil. Oh, I look thought it was it. chicken juice. No, sesame oil. Oh. <laughs> so I've got my chicken on. This is five chicken breasts. I butterflied them and then I chopped them. So they'll be julienned as well with the vegetables. I find that when you're making something like a stir fry or um, a lettuce wrap, that you want to absolutely have everything roughly the same size. It just blends really nice and then you're not having like a chunk of carrot falling out. Everything kind of stays in the lettuce wrap nicely. Same thing when I make fajitas, I julienne the meat, peppers, onions, and keep everything kind of the same, the same um, shape. I can't believe, I can't believe what I've just done. And we discussed, we had the apron discussion. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, should I wear the apron? Am I looking cute? What do we think of this fit? And you're like, yeah, it's all good. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna ditch the apron. Big mistake, salt, pepper. That looked like a lot of salt, didn't it? Fine. You know me. Okay, <clears throat> now, I want this at pretty high heat. When you're stir frying, you wanna work with a fairly high heat, so I'm going on heat six, which on this burner is more like a seven or an eight. I'm going to get this cooking. While it's cooking, I'm going to go grab something out of the pantry, which naturally I forgot, and then I'm gonna show you how to make a sauce. So we're gonna do a little bit extra saucy because we are going to be adding, the, we're gonna be cooking the vegetables as well. The other thing is, is if you were making a noodle, you would definitely want this a little bit saucier. So the different types of noodles I would use in this, I would use like a, a vermicelli, like a rice noodle, mm -hmm. if you had any gluten sensitivities, or I would use like a chow mein noodle that you could just, either one of those, you have to like cook in boiling water, then you could add them kind of with everything. Okay, Ooh, we could put these in rice wrappers too. Oh yeah, we could. I don't 
fucking love the rice wrap. Really? I might make some for myself when the video is done. Okay, okay, okay. You can do it. Okay, we'll be back in a minute when this is all done. Welcome back. I put an apron on to prevent any more mishaps. My chicken is half cooked. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my minced garlic. Look at I put my knife away. Now I need it. Mercy. Now I'm just going to have garlic fingers. As I always do. Mmm. When I first started teaching foods, I hated smelling like the food. Did you ever have that issue? I just hated when I smell like onion. Which, Which is, is like most often. Time. Yeah, most days. Like sometimes I go home and you don't notice until you put your jacket on the next day and you're like, holy. Woo! Holy hand, I smell like onion. Yeah. Okay, I've got my ginger and garlic all over my hands. I've got my ginger peeled here. I cut off the end, I peeled it with a spoon. Now I'm gonna take it on this cute little microplaner. You don't microplane that it I over don't the like. chicken? What? You don't do it over the chicken? Well, I don't know how to hold, I feel like I'll just burn it. Oh, this is a terrible microplaner. That's so cute. You'll burn the microplaner? Well, this, where am I gonna put it? Sass, that's what I said. You hold it, you don't have to put it on anything. That's how I microplane. I don't have enough, I don't have enough resistance. You don't have resistance. enough arm strength? No. And I'm a pretty strong chick too. Mm -hmm. That's mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm, are you? Is what you could have just said there. <laughs> I need my knife. I, I'm going to TikTok because this isn't on TikTok. Uh, I'm a mess. It's because we're not first thing in the morning filming. The What's your hour? It's on our heels. Okay, there's that ginger paste. <laughs> it's a pretty microplaner. Cute. It, Cute. It works fine. I don't I know guess. why you I mean, I guess I'm just... It's a spin a day. I'm just a complainer. Okay. I'm the one complaining today, not you. Well... I'm the one that's allowed to complain. Okay. You can complain. Okay. I'm going to wait. <laughs> I'm going to wait. See, I got some raw, but a little raw guy right there. Yeah, I'm just gonna flip it over. I'm just gonna give it another minute. I wanna make sure it's all cooked through before I start going hard with my sauces. Now, what I went to go get from the pantry was cornstarch. The reason why is because I'm gonna make a cute little sauce while this is cooking and I'm just gonna, again, you're gonna, I'm gonna drive you bonkers. So I'm not gonna measure anything, okay? Ho! Shocking. Shocking. Welcome to pandemic cooking. All right, I'm gonna take about a tablespoon of cornstarch. Anytime you have cornstarch, you need to mix it with some water. So I'm just gonna add about a tablespoon. Well, I'm gonna add probably, to be honest with you, half a cup of water, because it's gonna be part of the sauce. Mmm, cornstarch water sauce. And we're done. Done. <laughs> Yummy. I think it's gonna really enhance the flavors here. Oh shoot, this is my bowl for the chicken, whatever. Ugh. Are you sure? I'm gonna add about half a cup of soy sauce. I see what gets us. This is it. Is this what gets me? Oyster sauce. Okay. For this Ukrainian girl, I like to have an oyster sauce on hand for a cute little saucy sauce. I'm going to add, I don't know, quarter cup. If you're allergic to shellfish, don't have this. Okay. If you're not, have at it. Okay. And then what we're going to add is we're going to add hoisin sauce. Now, hoisin sauce, one of my favorites. Oh, geez. I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of that. I wish this bottle was pop. I wish this bottle. <laughs> uh oh. Rona! Okay. Rona. It's okay, we're cooking it. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna add a little blob of sambal olak just to, just to get the blood flowing. A little teaspoon there. It's a lot for this girl. Now, Ms. N, are you okay if I add peanut butter? Love a peanut sauce. Yes! I didn't know how you would feel. Okay. This is maybe what your peanut butter looks like at home. You can see that the Ritz crackers have just, <laughs> just slid right through there, okay? So that's where we are in our journey. That so, wasn't even that far into the journey. That was for, like, Yeah, that was day that was one. Like three days into the journey. Day one, I'm panicking. Okay. Gonna give that a little mixy. What were you gonna say about your mom and peanut uh, My mom makes a good like like peanut Thai chicken pizza, 
and she makes a peanut sauce for it. Oh, what's she put in it? What's your mom's name? Lori. Lori? What's Lori put in it? I don't know. Peanut butter? I honestly don't know what she puts in it, and I think it's mostly just like water. What I'm doing here? <laughs> peanut butter with some soy sauce, but it's so good. It's so good, especially, okay, listen though, you can't use, you can't use the like natural. No, no, you it's need craft. The sweet. You need the sweet It's stuff. the craft peanut butter. Yeah, you bet. Yeah, it's the one that accepts Ritz crackers with open arms. Yeah. Am I right? And if you want to make it healthy, you can buy powdered peanut butter and throw that in. It won't be as this Oh yeah, stick. like that stuff at Costco? Yeah. You know what I was going to bring and I forgot? Peanuts! Mmm. Crushed peanuts on the top, but mm. you know what? I forget every single one. Escaping the house. Okay, pop that in. I'm not going to cook it long. I'm going to gauge how much sauce I have here. If I were putting this on a noodle, I'd want more sauce, but I still have all of these vegetables that I need to add. I really quieted down there with that. With that. I'm just going to bring it to increase the heat. I'm going to try and thicken up the sauce a little bit, and then I'm going to transfer it back into my bowl. Okay, I'm gonna use the same bowl because there's no raw chicken in here, just sauce, I'm not worried. If anybody is watching this right now, it smells like hot pot in here. Does it? Okay. See, we're getting this creamy. So good. Okay, okay I don't wanna cook that anymore. It's thick. Get thick. thick. She's thick, two C's. Um, I'm gonna leave this sauce in the pan. Because I've got the peanut butter in here, I've got the hoisin, I'm at risk of burning. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my hard vegetables. I've put my cabbage in with my hard veggies and I'm just gonna soften them up. I'm gonna get a really nice vegetable going here or like a stir fry going here. I like, uh, I'm, I like an onion. I really feel that it adds a lot of flavor. I like it cooked onion. Yeah, that's what I like. Yeah, I like it cooked onion. Yeah, we've discussed this. I don't love, the only time, pen up so people can see this, how serious I am about this. The only time I like um, a raw onion is on a hot dog or on a hamburger. But, or in a donair. However, when I'm like, I go to um, High Voltage Donair, my favorite place, and I'm like, I'm not joking you, two strips of onion. Like, I'll take this much. And then they look at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, listen, I don't need to smell this on my hands and on my breath for the next four days, right? So, and that's the same I am with the onions on a hot dog. Like, I like, I really like, uh, like the flavor of it, but mm -hmm. I don't want too much of it. Okay, I'm gonna add just a little bit of sesame oil here because I feel I don't want them to be too dry. I really want to have a um, flavorful vegetable here. I want to talk a little bit because my students in grade 10, we have not done nutrition. Have you? No, I haven't done nutrition. And what I want to talk about is, I don't want to talk about Rona right now, but I am a believer we can help with our immune system, with feeling good, being healthier in general by number one, cooking for yourself, number two, cooking healthy things for yourself. So unfortunately, I hate to say it, not the gnocchi, not, not the full loaves of bread, not the full loaves of bread, not, not the, the risotto, cake, not, not the, the cake. cake. I just feel like um, if you can cook for yourself, get some nutrients, the more greens that you can have, the more um, colorful vegetables, Everything that I'm cooking with today has some sort of nutrient property. When I'm teaching foods class and we're doing something with carrots, I'd be like, okay, carrots have a lot of vitamin A. Oh my God, my son. So he's been worried at night right now. And he's like, I'm not eating enough carrots because I can't see in the dark. And I'm like, <laughs> Marshall, you're so cute. Anyway, now I've got my mushrooms and my, and my um, green peppers. So, just, oh man, so just so you know, anything like red, orange color, is gonna have lots of vitamin A in it. Also, peppers have lots of vitamin C. So that's one of the things that I'm sure you heard growing up, like if you're feeling sick, increase your vitamin C, eat oranges. But what nobody, feel, nobody tells you is, or just basically any vegetable in general, okay? Now, I don't wanna overcook these vegetables because I really want the, oh my God, are you watching this? Like what? I'm, <laughs> vegetables are flying out the side every which way. Um, as long as you're eating a variety of fruits and vegetables, then you should be good. Like super, super healthy. This is basically, I'm, I'm gonna add a little splash of soy sauce just to give a bit of flavor here. Okay, great. Now what I'm gonna show you is I am gonna show you 
what Victor taught me. Make sure I have some room. We've got our garnish here that I regret not putting in a bowl. I mean, the end is not going to eat, but whatever. Okay. Open up your eyes. Are you sassing? No. Are you sassing me? I thought no, you said no. I was the sassy one you today. You are. Okay. I like an iceberg just because of the crunch. Um, you could use a romaine, you could use a butter lettuce, don't care what kind of wrap you use, but you don't wanna like, I'm gonna show you a trick, okay? At the bottom, you've got this little root. I'm gonna show you how to get that out. What you're gonna do is you're gonna face it down, smash it on the board, and then smash it again, stop it. Ms. N is looking at me like, you fail. And then it should just pop out, and then you can take the root out. Cool. Shut up. <laughs> Neat. Miss, Miss S is scared of me today for some reason. Neat. She no. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get hurt. I'm frightened. <laughs> She's frightened. Okay, then you can cut it in half, and then the little pieces as you get closer to the center, like, there you go, that's a good one. Perfect. There you go, okay? So then you can have that. Now, eating these is a bit of a mess. That's okay, you're gonna have sauce running down your arms. It's totally fine, okay? All right, beautiful. I'm happy, let's go back to the vegetables. I'm happy with how those look. I still want to have some crunch. Give them one last little toss. I'm gonna add the chicken back in. Heat it up, I want that sauce back in there. Just incorporate everything. Now, if you didn't want to do this in a lettuce wrap, you could use exactly what I've done here and throw it on rice. some rice. You can just eat this as You can it just is. eat it as a stir fry. You can put it in rice wrappers. Put it in rice wrappers. Throw it on some cute little noodles. Make Maybe or throw some noodle. throw some <laughs> throw some chow mein in there. Um, like you can take this and if you wanted to add like make it a little bit of a fuller meal. You could absolutely add something with some like carb or more, a little bit more like calories or complex carb, okay? All right, what I'm going to do, I am going to taste it, make sure that it's seasoned how I like it, or how Mizen likes it. <laughs> um, would you say it's salty? Shut up. All right, it's perfect in my opinion. I tried to look for um, sesame seeds, but then I got distracted trying to kill the fruit flies, so I stopped looking. I, if they're there, they're there. If you have some, great. Let's see. Okay, you got my little wraps here. I'm gonna do a cute, just gonna spoon it in. Just gonna spoon it in. Lots of veggies there. I would say it's like 50-50 chicken and veg. So you've got a nice lean protein. The sauce, I would say if we're talking health wise, the sauce is like the most unhealthy part, okay. but we gotta live, okay? Okay, gotta a little, live. some slimy green onions on the top there. Mm. That's it! So let me know what you think of my lettuce wraps or your lettuce wraps or whatever you make. If you don't have these sauces on hand, fret not. Take a look what you have. Maybe you've got a teriyaki marinade that you use for a recipe a couple of months ago or whatever. Take a look what you have. You got a saute peanut sauce? Yes. Take a look. It doesn't have to be these exact things, but I did want to show you if you're heading to the grocery store and you wanted to do lots of different like Asian stir fries cooking, these are my three, okay? Those are my three, soy, oyster, hoisin, okay? Make sure, comment, if you like this video, comment. If you don't, no, don't comment if you don't like it, then I will lose sleep. Don't do that. Um, share this video, make us YouTube famous, and make sure that you smash that subscribe button, and have a great day. Take it easy, everyone. Bye.